Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on probability theory and today's lesson will be on probability situations. So in probability situations, there are two keywords we ought to be familiar with. One of them is AND and the other one is OR. Now when we use set theory to understand these probability situations, you have to remember that AND means intersection while OR means union. So let's consider two events, A and B. The probability that event A occurs is noted by PA and will be equal to the whole of this shaded part, A intersection B complement plus A intersection B. And the probability that event A occurs is, no is noted by PB and is given by A intersection B plus A complement intersection B. They can also ask for the probability that both events A and B occur. Now because of this word AND, it means they mean intersection. So in that case, when they ask for the probability that both events A and B occur, they want the, a, they want the intersection, which is A intersection B. When they ask for the probability that only event A occurs, it means they want this probability alone, which will be equal to A intersection B complement. Similarly, when they ask for probability that only event B occurs, they want only this probability, which is A complement intersection B. When they ask for the probability that neither event A nor B occurs, so this word neither nor, it means A complement intersection B. While event A or B or both, so when they use this term, a or B or both. It means they want the union and the union is equal to this A intersection B complement plus A intersection B plus A complement intersection B. And lastly when they ask for either event A only or event B occurs it means they want this which is for A only and this for B only. So you add the two. Another word that can be used to mean this is the word exactly stroke only one of the two events occurs. So when they ask for the probability that one of the two events only occurs, it is the same as event A only or event B only. Now that knowledge on set theory, we shall go through the prob solution to the following problems. First is that two events A and B are such that probability so this is probability of A equal to 8 over 15, probability of B is equal to 1 over 3, probability of A slash B. Now this slash means given, so it's pronounced as probability of A given B occurs is B equal to 1 over 5. Culture the probabilities that Roman 1, both events occur, Roman 2, only event A occurs, and Roman 3, only event B occurs. Roman 4, only one of the two events occurs. And Roman 6, this is 5. Neither events occurs. And Roman 6, either A or B or both occurs. And lastly, either A or B, but not both occurs. So shall go through those problems. First of all, we are given probability of A given B and probability of B. We can use that to get the probability of A intersection B. I think in lesson 1 we covered this conditional probabilities. So probability of A intersection B will be equal to probability of B multiplied by probability of A given B occurs. We know probability of B is 1 over 3 and probability of A given B occurs is 1 over 5. When we multiply the 2, we shall come up with 1 over 15. Now that is a answer for the probability that both events occurs. Both event occurs means A and B. So the AND is noted by the intersection. Roman 2, the one the probability that only event A occurs. So in that case, you have to draw our Venn diagram. We are given probability of A as 8 over 5, probability of B as 1 over 3, and we have now got the intersection which is 1 over 15. Now, since probability of A contains this and this, it means that if I want to get this alone, I will say this probability of A minus 1 over 15, which is 8 over 15 minus 1 over 15 to give me 
7 over 15 and that will be the probability that only event A occurs so we shall just come and say that probably that only event A occurs is equal to 7 over 15 Roman 2 the one the probability that only event B occurs so we are given the probability of B as 1 over 3 we, are, we know the intersection is 1 over 15 so we shall do the same this minus this will give us the probability that only event B occurs so in this case we shall say 1 over 3 minus 1 over 15 to give you 4 over 15 so after getting that we shall just come here and state that probably that only event B occurs is 1 over 15 Roman 4 the one that will probably be that only one of the two events occurs so only one means either this only or this only now the all means union and addition so you shall say this plus this is what they want therefore you shall come and say probably that only one of the two events occurs is equal to 7 over 15 plus 4 over 15 which will give us 11 over 15 then Roman 5 they wanted the probability that neither events occurs so neither is denoted by what is outside here how do we get it we know that the total probability is equal to one and we know that the union this plus this now this one will be equal to this plus this plus this and plus this which they want now it, since we don't know this we shall say that one minus the union this plus this plus this will give us what is outside and that will be our answer for neither event a nor event b occurs so shall, um, after getting this 3 over 15 we shall just come here and say that the probability that neither event occurs is equal to 3 over 15 Roman 6 the one the probability that either a or b or both occurs so remember we say that either A or B or both occurs represents the union. So in that in that case we have to get 7 over 15 plus 1 over 15 plus 4 over 15. And that will be our answer. So shall come here and say that the probability that either A or B sorry this is it. Probably that either A or B or both occurs will be equal to probability of a union b and to be equal to 7 over 15 plus 1 over 15 plus 4 over 15 and the answer will be 12 over 15 and lastly they wanted the probability that either a or b but not both occurs now that one either a or b but not both what does that mean it means that the this one will be eliminated and what will remain will be this for A only and this for B only. So the probability that either A or B but not both occur will be 7 over 15 plus 4 over 15. So shall come here and say probably that either A or B but not both occurs will be equal to 7 over 15 plus 4 over 15. And that will give us 11 over 15 as our answer. And that brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform.